Hey guys, so this isn't gonna be a long video. And I've talked about this a little bit in the past. But hey, what's up? It's Ross here, back at you with another video. And uh, I feel like I wanna talk about this because it's, it's affected me recently and it might affect you fairly often. Pretty, pretty hot topic, kind of, because uh, any carries are getting a lot of shit in season seven for being mostly terrible. But I feel like there's a real unsung hero of the shit fest, and that is forced autofill. Uh, and I, I've, yeah, as I say, I've talked about this, and I've talked about the fact that I I preferred team builder back in the day. I preferred that way of doing things. The and and whilst yeah, the queues are like way 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 longer to get what you want. But the most important thing is that you get what you want with autofill on permanently, and it being the start of the season. I feel like it has gotten to the point. Where games are being lost horribly before they even get the chance to begin. And I'll tell you why. So there are a few reasons why I strongly believe that, particularly at the start of any season, the autofill is just really, it's really not a good idea. People's ranks are all over the fucking place. And if you're anywhere between silver and gold, there's a good chance that when you're doing your placements, you probably saw a diamond player or something in one of your games during placements. And you're maybe a little bit confused. So... With these players being in your games, players that are probably better players than me, we've encountered a few problems when it comes to picking teams. First and foremost being that uh, with autofill, there's every chance that that player, who is likely one of the best players in our team, gets autofill to support. Now this can lead to several horrible scenarios in which we lose miserably. Uh, you know, the better player either says nothing, he accepts his fate, he goes into a role where he's not entirely comfortable, despite the fact that he's claimed to diamond with like mid lane or something, uh, and our team loses because you know we we didn't have we didn't utilize a good player to his strengths. Uh, despite all efforts, if we had a stronger mid laner, uh, that might have changed. And uh, another scenario, the one that I am finding more and more frequently in my games, is that the player or any player for that matter that gets all filled. They get all filled with support and then they proceed to spend the next couple of minutes in Champion Select trying to bargain their way out of the role. Um, so we spend that entire Champion Select trying to either calm the person down uh, or stop them entirely from going ape shit and either troll picking or just leaving the game and making it being the 19th leave in a row. And let's have a queue again, because there's so many leaves with this autofill. Like, I don't think I've ever started up a game the first time. We always get into champion select, and it'll be like, okay, someone's left. Okay, someone's left. Someone's forgotten to lock in. Someone's left. Some people are way nicer than others about this, but it's gotten to the point where I genuinely just expect it to happen. When I get into a ranked lobby, that whoever is support is there by chance, uh, not by choice, and that they will proceed to do whatever they can to bargain the way out of the role. I was literally queuing with a friend, and I said, uh, I bet this person tries to get out of uh, playing support. We got into the, the lobby, and the first thing it says in chat is, uh, does anyone want to play support? And that is the first thing that you see almost every time for me personally. Now they can bargain, or they can take the game hostage, and this is where things really go to shit before they even begin. So your support wants to play mid lane, but your mid lane doesn't want to support. So in one of my last ranked games, it came to the point where we had to swap over half our team around in positions just to stop one person inting because they only, they literally only play one champion in one role. And yes, this did happen. We had to put our support mid, uh, we had to put our mid lane top and our top in support to try and, uh, to try and free up space and accommodate the one guy who only played Echo mid and nothing else, despite the fact that we, we end up actually miraculously winning that game. I did really fucking well in that game, actually. The Echo did terrible in his lane. He went 0-2, all that effort to swap people around, and he ended up going 0-2 in lane a few minutes into the game. And my support, uh, he didn't feel like he was all that that adept at playing support. He was walking into like Zyra traps, Zyra plants, he was just walking in, dying. He didn't really know his limitations all that well. Uh, generally didn't really know his limits and how much he could take. And he ended up giving up a few kills. Uh, that, that, you know, it didn't end up making much difference. But can I fucking blame the guy? Of course not. If anything, I commend the guy because he obviously 
saw that the, the, the pre-game lobby was a complete shit show and decided to take matters into his own hands and take one for the team and go support. Now, he might have no clue how to play support, but he's put us into roles where we're more comfortable and he's taken a, a, a deficit in the name of the team, you know? The guy purposely put himself into a role that he barely ever played and he tried to make the best of it to help us win. And that is just... That's just what Autofill really is. It's putting absolutely everyone in a team at a disadvantage from the second that you get into a lobby before anyone has even spoken. And then the way that the people handle that situation can make it blow up even worse by trying to take the game hostage or by troll picking or just leaving in general. Um, but so many times I see AD carries complain that their supports in games are being useless and every time I kind of just, I used to shrug it off and be like, ah, well, you know, maybe he is bad, whatever, you know, these things happen. But it only really occurred to me recently that the reason that this probably is, the why these supports are being bad, is because the support player is actually a top laner who had absolutely no intention to play bot lane to begin with. And the reason that he is in bot lane right now is because he had no other choice. I want to compare League of Legends quickly to uh, another game before we... Before we close out this video, I want to compare League of Legends rank you to Dungeon Finder and Raid Finder in World of Warcraft. Now, if you haven't played World of Warcraft, there are three main classes that you can queue as when you go to find a dungeon or you go to find a raid. Uh, there's a tank, takes all damage, healer, heals people, DPS, does damage, okay? Really, really simple, tank, healer, DPS. Now, uh, healer and tank classes are kind of slim. That's just because there's not as many healer and tank classes. So when you queue as either of these two classes, either as a, a tank or a healer, you tend to get really, really fast queues because obviously with there not being as many classes that can do these things, and um, people generally not wanting to support as much as they do want to do deal damage. Um, you, get, you get really quick pops. It's really, really fast because there's not as many players, and uh, you tend to be like a very valued commodity in uh, and, and, and WoW at least. When you queue as a DPS, so it can be a lot longer. Uh, and that's fine because at no point will the game say to you, yeah, we saw, we saw that you were going to queue as an archer. We saw that you were queuing as a ranger, but uh, we think you'd get into a game faster if you were actually just queued as a healer. So, so here you go. Thank us later. And then they, they fire you into a raid on a completely different character that you've never even properly looked at. You don't know how their mechanics work. Suddenly, you're a fucking priest when you've spent your entire game playing as a ranger. It just wouldn't happen. It doesn't make any sense. But it's very, very similar, kind of. Champion knowledge is, like, really important in League and learning a small pool of versatile champions is really important as well. But Jesus, autofill can throw you absolutely anywhere with no warning. And honestly, when I get hit with an autofill, I'm fine with it. I don't say a word, I just sit silently and I pretend that I'm the fucking god of support. But there are some volatile creatures in this game. The one, that one weirdo, the one weirdo can easily bring an entire team dynamic to the ground. Um, and I know a lot of people are going to say, you should learn to play support anyway. You should learn to play support, uh, blah, blah, blah. Well, whilst I can somewhat agree, support is a good role anyway. I, I, I'm fine with playing support. Support are, they're probably like one of the more... Uh, kind of game deciding roles the game surprisingly like they basically decide bot lane like your AD carry meh it's the support that runs bot lane I feel um, well it's like I can agree with that the way that the the whole queue system is created doesn't support that idea um, so obviously you can say you should just learn to play support you should learn to play every character yeah except the rank queue asks you to pick two roles so, naturally, it makes more sense for you to learn two roles than it does for you to learn five. And by doing that, you are going to be su like supremely better at those two roles than you will be trying to learn five at the same time. It just, that's just how it's gonna work, okay? That, that is it. That's my, and that is what I think Riot are trying to encourage. But at the same time, with autofill on permanently, it's being completely shuffed, fucking stuffed into the ground. So I could, I tend to queue for either mid, mid and bot or mid and top, but if I get thrown in support, I just feel like, shit, I haven't practiced support in a fucking long time. What do I do? What supports are even good anymore, you know? 
and I feel like people are exactly the same way. I practice these. I practice two to three rolls. Those are those are the two to three rolls that I practice. There's two rolls I'm terrible at, or uh, or I don't practice at all. But I can sometimes get thrown into them because fucking why not? Um, and it's just a little bit screwed up. But and and it's fine to be like you should know how to play support anyway. But there's a difference between definitely difference between knowing how to play support and knowing how to play support well and how, knowing how to play support to a high level like of play um, so a diamond player could be diamond in mid but if he gets put on support he could be like a fucking gold player when it comes to to support and he could be against a diamond player support who's really good at support and plays a lot uh, and it, it's kind of it just seems a little bit unfair to me that you know uh, an auto filled support or an auto filled player can be put against a non auto filled player that probably knows the role better, especially in ranked when you know when they when the ranks start evening out and people start getting put where they're supposed to be. Uh, people getting put in roles, you know, that they get fucked in. Yeah, it doesn't seem fair. And I know that like when it gets to like the higher echelons of uh, of ranked where it's like 15 minute queues at all and, and like Everybody gets filled anyway. People click fill. Like, they put fill as their thing. Like, all high low players, they don't select a role. They select fill. You don't need auto fill. These guys know anyway. They do it anyway because it's the fastest way to get a game. But they're at the point where they all know each other. There's such little players in that pool that they recognize names. They, uh, they can organize themselves better. They, they understand that they have to press fill to get a game faster. And, uh... Yeah, that's how that works, but, you know, down here in the slums, gold five, hard stuck, one up, uh, you know, it, it, it's a bit fucked up. It ruins my games. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm really hoping to achieve in this video, but I just wanted to get it off my chest, and I think some of you guys will probably agree with me. Um, that the way the rank system works, where you, you get to pick two roles, doesn't really support an autofill system, especially, you know, when there's so many champions to learn, uh, you know, for players that have only been playing for a year. You know, they're probably quite w pretty well versed in the game. They've been playing for a year, but they've probably still not played every champion. That's how many fucking champions there are. If, you, if you've been playing for a year, you have to have a new champion every three fucking days <laughs> to play all the champions. More than every three days. Uh, it's, it doesn't make any sense to be able to do that. Um, so yeah. Rank's a bit weird right now. Uh, I don't know how to fix it. Turn all the fill off. Thanks very much, guys. Anyway. Take it easy, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching this video. I've been kind of ranting ever so slightly. This was a bit of a rant video. I'm not going to lie. But uh, if you got this far in the uh, in the, in the video, I want you to put the word... Uh, first of all, I want you to comment down below with the phrase, Vape on, brother. And then I want you to comment on two or three other people's comments that says, Vape on, brother, with another comment that says, Vape on, brother. And let's just Vape on, brothers. Okay? See you guys later. Take it easy. See you tomorrow. Peace.